Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my March 2024 bullet journal plan with me. I'm starting off swatching out all the purple pens that I had because I didn't really know 100% what pens I wanted to use for this setup, but I did know that I wanted it to be purple to fit with my Speak Now theme for this month. Um, if you didn't know, I'm doing a Year of Eras themes based on the Taylor Swift albums, and because last month a new album was announced, November's theme is not going to be Christmas Tree Farm anymore, it will be the Tortured Poets Department. I pre-sketched out this theme, and I used a reference from Pinterest to sketch out the dragon, which I chose for this month because of the song Long Live, which has a lyric, I had the time of my life fighting dragons with you. Um, and I really like that song off of Speak Now, so I decided to go with a dragon theme for March. I was originally going to do a cake theme because of the song Speak Now, but I decided against it even though March is my birthday month. I decided that it would be better to do a dragon, and I really, really like how this theme turned out. I started to shade in some of the dragon with a purple pen because I didn't want to fully color in the dragon because I didn't think that would look very good, so I just shaded a little bit of it, um, and then I added some sparkles by its face and I used a swooping calligraphy font for my lettering this month. I used the sparkles as the recurring doodles this month because I didn't really want to make it too hard on myself, um, but now I'm making my monthly planning page. I use this to note down all my goals and keep my habit trackers for the month. My goals for last month went pretty well. I met almost all of them, but I did not make a crochet project, so hopefully I get to that either in March or April, because I do want to make something small just to keep my skills going well, but I did hit 450 subscribers. Thank you so much. That actually means we are only 50 away from my June goal, which is 500. Um, I set a pretty high goal for myself this year. I set a goal of 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, but based on my progress so far, I hope we can hit it. Um, obviously, it doesn't really matter that much if we don't, but you know, it would be pretty cool to meet my goal, and then that's kind of a pretty big milestone. Now, moving on to my calendar, I'm using a Micron pen to draw it out, and that is the pen that I used for most of the setup. I used a 0.2 and 0.1 pen this month. Again, using the swooping calligraphy for this header. A few of the headers I hadn't originally planned to use calligraphy, so I didn't have as much space as I would have hoped, so a few of them became a little cramped. But luckily, I did plan out to use it for this header, so this one turned out pretty well. Um, and then I used my purple pen for the background of the weekday headers, and then I did some erasing. I always have to erase a lot because I sketch out my um, setups beforehand. And then I went to do the background of the numbers with my purple Tombow. All the supplies will be linked in the description, and I will also link last year's March setup and my bullet journal playlist for this year.
Now, flipping over to my gratitude spread, I just used calligraphy at the top and then I wrote the days all down. But the next page is my birthday page and I decided to make this again this year. I had one last year as well. Um, this is an example of where I didn't think that I would be using calligraphy, so the headings got a little cramped. But I'm putting a section for what I got for my birthday and then what we did that day. And there is another space, but I think I'll either put a photo from just my memories or do some swatching if I get pens. I didn't really ask for any, but if I do, then I'll put swatches there. Or if I buy some with any money I get, then again, I'll put the swatches there. And then we are already on to my last spread of this setup. It is my first weekly for March. And I'm using the same style of weekly as I have every single week this year. Um, it's works well so far, and I will probably be continuing using it for the rest of this year. Let me know what your goals are for March, and hopefully we can keep each other accountable. And in the April setup, you can tell me if you met them. Also, let me know what your favorite song from Speak Now is, or if you don't really listen to Speak Now, what your favorite album is from Taylor Swift. And you know, if you don't listen to Taylor Swift, you should. There's probably an album for you. Then I went back to add some sparkles, and now we're into the final flip through. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And this is actually one of my favorite themes that I've ever done. Last March's was also pretty cool. It was a koi fish theme. But again, thank you so much for watching. Bye!